understand and know what the foundation of law is for police obtaining evidence against you without having a proper warrant or probable cause. The first limitation on consent searches is that consent must be voluntarily given. That means the police are not allowed to coerce you or threaten you into providing consent. However, the police are not required to explain to you that you are allowed to deny or refuse their request to search. The second limitation on consent searches is that the police are not allowed to search beyond the scope of your consent. For example, if the police obtain your voluntary consent to search your briefcase, that does not give them permission to search anything else unless they develop independent probable cause. The third limitation on consent searches is that you have the right to withdraw your consent anytime you want. Remember, the law does not require that you consent to searches. The law does not require that you waive your Fourth Amendment constitutional right to a search based only upon probable cause. If you want to withdraw your consent, all you have to do is tell the police to stop the search. Why are they searching your car? Why are they searching your car? Uh, so I want you to say, officer, I revoke consent and they can stop searching your car. You, United States versus Williams, 2018. Tell them right now, I revoke consent, stop searching my car. Say it out loud and they have to stop immediately. Say it now. I revoke consent. Consent. Stop searching my car. That's it. Rubio, that's it. He's revoked consent. He's revoked consent. That's it. Okay, cool. United States versus Williams, 2018. If you can give consent, you can revoke consent. It's in your trifold. So if you get pulled over and the cop says, hey, can I search your car? And you're like, I know this cop is gonna search my car no matter what I do. You can give consent and say, no problem. If it's not on film, you lose. 2018 United States versus Williams says that if I can give consent, I can revoke consent. You have it on film, you have your trifold, you give consent. And right as the cop begins to search your car, you say, oh, you know what, officer? I revoke consent. You have to stop searching my car now. Because if you can give consent, you can revoke consent. He asked you if he could search your car. You said, yes, sure, you can search my car. You got out of the car, he began to search. Oh, you know what, I changed my mind. You can't search. Now on camera, if he says, I'm gonna get a drug dog out here, you refer to your trifold and says, United States versus Rodriguez, unless you have reasonable articulable suspicion that a crime is in progress or I'm in committing a crime or I'm probably contraband, you can't extend this stop to get a drug dog. It's right here in your trifold and you show that. And then everything caught on camera is fruit of the poisonous tree. Anything he does after that, if he says, I'm gonna search your car anyway, perfect. You don't have my consent and it's on camera and he does not respect my rights, then that is fruit of the poisonous tree doctrine and everything he finds in that search is illegal. I'm gonna go to jail, I'm gonna get bailed out, I'm gonna get charged with all these charges and then my camera footage is gonna show fruit of the poisonous tree and the case is gonna be dismissed. That's it. That's the importance of understanding the foundation of law. Supreme Court has not expressly established that an individual may withdraw consent to search that they have voluntarily given. However, in the 1980 case of Walter versus the United States, the court explained that, quote, when an official search is properly authorized, whether by consent or by the issuance of a valid warrant, the scope of the search is limited by the terms of its authorization. And in the 1991 case of Florida versus Gimeno, it stated that, quote, 
A suspect may, of course, delimit as he chooses the scope of the search to which he consents. Based in part on this precedent, the Third Circuit Court of Appeals, which has jurisdiction over Pennsylvania, held in the 2018 case of United States v. Woods, noting that, quote, Our sister circuits that have considered whether individuals may withdraw consent to search have unanimously answered in the affirmative, and citing decisions from the 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th circuits recognizing the right to withdraw consent. Hopefully they know that they don't have to consent to a search. Hopefully they know that that's their Fourth Amendment right. They can take back and revoke uh, the search at any time. That's what I mainly want them to know. You don't have to let them search your car. It's your right not to get your car searched, and you can revoke it at any time. Just an FYI, we're just cop watchers, dude. So it looks like we got more rolling up. So now they got uh, two vehicles, at least three officers on this one car, probably for a minor driving infraction, if I know our cops. Yeah, they need the whole team to be here. You don't have to let them search your car. You can revoke it at any time. You don't have to give them permission to search. You can revoke it and we'll have it on video. And anything they find will be illegal. You can revoke it at any time. Just say, no, don't search my car. That's all you have to say. We'll get it on camera. Illegal mother always breaking people's rights. If an officer is conducting a search based upon consent, the consenting person can withdraw that consent at any time. Additionally, the officer trying to operate under the rules of consent can't be unduly coercive. Here in the Ninth Circuit, courts would take a dim view of officers limiting the ability to revoke consent by placing a suspect out of earshot and could also have a problem if the suspect is placed in a patrol car where the ability to observe the search is necessarily limited. Whether a suspect was coerced into believing that they had no authority or ability to withdraw their consent is a question of fact, and a court would need to determine if the officers created a setting in which a reasonable person would believe that he or she had no authority to limit or withdraw their consent. This includes taking into account all of the circumstances surrounding the encounter, including whether a reasonable person would feel free to decline the officer's requests or otherwise terminate the encounter. All of that said, even if officers inform a suspect that they can yell out of an open window if they want to withdraw the consent to a search, this may not survive scrutiny, particularly in the Ninth Circuit, as a person in the back of a patrol car may reasonably believe that they are not free to decline the officer's request or that they were being otherwise coerced to allow a search to occur. Use your trifold. Use it. I sell it for nine bucks, you can download it, then you have a copy, you can give it to all your friends. If you, you can, can afford, afford the $30 one, get it. Put it in your car, it's badass. Keep it, use your damn trifold. By the way, when you get the $30 indestructible one, I give you a nice thick, it's actually a broccoli wad. You know the broccoli wad, the uh, rubber bands, nice thick black rubber band, because I really want you to put the the trifold up on your visor, just like that, put that around your visor, your trifold. What's wrong with having the necessary tools above your head, putting your hands above the steering wheel so you don't get shot? There are rules. I know it doesn't seem like it, but there are. So that's the most important thing. Set yourself up for success. You're gonna get pulled over. Cops are targeting people when you travel. When you travel from point A to point B, cops are targeting you.